Alright, Daryl. These motherfuckers want to know about the goddamn exorcism we did. It's gotta be told, Daryl. I mean, we're going to hell anyway, ain't we? Alright. It was 2006 and we were just moving to that new apartment out there in Northampton Hills. Hadn't really got moved in. When our neighbor came stumbling in. Six foot five, three hundred pounds. He was a schizophrenic named Booger. His real name wasn't Booger, it was actually Nathan, but the whole apartment complex just kind of called him Booger. He was a big, scary, Frankenstein looking motherfucker, and he was standing there in our doorway. We'd heard about him, we knew who he was, and we were scared. See, we were young Irish Catholic boys and we were proud of our heritage, so we had the apartment already decked out and all kinds of Irish paraphernalia and Catholic stuff, you know, because we were men of faith. Well, Booger stood there and looked around the apartment, freaking us all out, creeping us all out. We didn't know what the fuck to do. We weren't going to kick him out. And he asked us if we could do an exorcism for him because he'd been hearing the devil. The devil been in his head. And there wasn't nothing new. Couldn't get it out. And he was scared. We politely informed this six foot five, three hundred pound, two hundred pound, whatever the fuck he was, huge fucking schizophrenic motherfucker, Frankenstein looking motherfucker scaring the fuck at us. We politely informed him that we were not in fact Roman priests. And we could not perform exorcism for him. He said, okay, that's how he talk. Can alone and so. Well the weeks went on, we got stoned, we got drunk, we got used to booger, he'd come on all the time, man. Cause you know he's a big ass fucking scary looking schizophrenic guy, but he still wants to hit the pipe and get stoned with everybody else too. So what the fuck, dude? Come on in. Everybody welcome here, Booger. Well one night, he came by. And he hit us at the right time. We decided to empty out my violin case and load it up with all our paraphernalia. I had a Bible written in Irish, I had one written in Latin, I had a bunch of rosaries. We had a clear plastic bottle we loaded with fucking water and drew a cross on it and called that holy water. And put on our boondock St. P coats and walked on down the hall. We went over to Booger's apartment, banging on the goddamn door. It was late as fuck, might have been three o'clock, I don't know. Two bitches standing out there, banging on his door. Booger opened the door, he's all confused as fuck, he's just waking up. We said, Booger, it's this night that we're gonna do this shit for you. You better get for fucking prepared. Get right with God, Booger! Get right with God right now, goddammit. So we barged into his apartment. This big fucking scary looking fucking schizophrenic motherfucker that could fucking tear us fucking out of the if he wanted to. And I went to sprinkling goddamn holy water all over the fucking place like a madman. And I went to his back bedroom there. And his bed was covered in goddamn spank mags. I mean, all kinds of nasty fucking porn, straight, gay, and what have you. And a, one little kitten. He had a little kitten just sitting on the bed with him. I guess when he jerked off, he wanted to pet a kitten. I don't know what the fuck was going on. He just gets a frank. I wasn't going to ask no questions. What I did do was keep everything off his goddamn bed, including that goddamn kitten, because that kitten had been stained with sin. Stained with Booger's sins. Well, we got Booger in there, and we had him kneel on down. We started praying for him. Call the ghost on down. Praying for our friend who heard the devil. I was reading out the Irish Bible while my buddy John was reading out the Latin one, and he was putting the sign of the cross on Booger's forehead. And I told you, Booger, this is why the devil's got you. Because you're up here in this room, all alone, seeing this tiny kitten. Of course, the devil's going to get you, Booger. But we're here, don't you worry. We're going to say some prayers and Irish and Latin and all kinds of shit. We'll take care of that devil for you. Had a 
had this big six foot something goddamn schizophrenic bent on down. He was praying to the Lord. And I was scared. Because if this big six foot fucking something schizophrenic motherfucker figures out that we're just drunk motherfuckers out here fucking with him, we're liable to die. See, what I didn't know at the time, you see, my roommate, he had a red mohawk that he had dyed with some red paste. And he had some on his fingers. So when we got done praying for Booger and we walked on down the hall and left his apartment, I looked behind me and said, Booger, you feel any better? And on Booger's forehead was a red pasty fucking smear of red. My roommate had put on his head. He said, yeah, I feel better already. I said, good, Booger. And you get rid of that goddamn sinning back there and shit. Quit jerking off, goddammit. That's bullshit right there in front of the kitten. The next morning, me and John, we were hungover as fuck, and we crawled on out to the balcony to smoke our cigarette in that morning beer. And we looked on down the hall, and there was Booger laying where he always lay on the stairway with his headphones on. John hollered out to him in his fake Boston accent, Hey, Booger! How you feeling? Booger took off his headphones and looked at us with that red paste still on his forehead, and he says, Man, I really appreciate it, guys. That's when I realized we were going to hell for pouring a freight exorcism on a schizophrenic man who didn't ask for this shit. He didn't know. Well, he asked for it. But he didn't know we were bullshit. And when he prayed to God, he never found out. Carolina in your cold, cold heart. Carolina in your cold, cold heart. Hang me from an old pine tree. There's a girl still pines for me. Carolina in your cold, cold heart. Carolina in your cold, cold heart. Oh. Now, Booger, if you're out there, I hope you're doing okay. Don't worry. The devil ain't after you. Don't worry, darling.